Okay, everyone, so today it is time to check out my makeup collection. I have just decluttered my whole collection. If you have not seen that, I will link it below for you. But this is now what it looks like, and I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod here and give you guys a closer view. Oh, uh -huh, there I am, of everything here. So this is kind of my everyday makeup case, and we'll go through that. This, oh my gosh, you guys, I was so excited to get this Nicole Guerrero palette. It came shattered, and um, Sephora is replacing it for me, so I ha just have it kind of chilling there. Um, I've got brushes here, my brushes that I use every single day up there, my beauty blenders here. This is my Vanity Girl Hollywood mirror, and then I have my micellar water, makeup remover wipes, and my Fix Plus. But we're gonna go through everything here. So we're gonna start with these drawers and then we'll move over to these. Okay, so here is the top drawer. It is all my primers, my BB creams, and my concealers. So I'm not gonna show you every single item that I own, but I will tell you that I have my Angel Veil. If you wanna see every single item, you can see my declutter. My Laura Mercier, I've got my Tarte Brighter Days. I put this in with the primers because it's like an illuminating primer. I've got a couple Hourglass primers, a mattifying one, and then a more hydrating one. I love my Mally Poreless one. I really am liking this one from First Aid Beauty. It was a sample. It is the um, Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's really thick, but it's also really, really nice, so I'm a big fan of that. Loving my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Rediscovered that in this declutter. My Kat Von D Locket Concealer. My Benefit Boing. This is perfect for blemishes and things like that. The Double Wear Waterproof. I love this guy. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It's so, so, so good. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit to see what that was like. Then I have some of my favorite BB creams. I've got my Revlon Photo Ready. I love this CoverGirl Clean Matte. It's like one of my all-time favorites. Urban Decay Naked Skin. All that good stuff. Some Rimmel. Lots of fun stuff. I love this primer. This is the Shiseido Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoother. It's really small. Really, really small, but it's really good. All right, then we have my drugstore foundations. I lay them out like this so that I can see them. If I put them in containers, you just have to end up stacking them because these drawers aren't that high, so this works the best for me. I've got my L'Oreal Cushion. I've got two shades of the Milani Conceal and Perfect because that's one of my favorite foundations. I love this InstaReady BB Cream from Physicians Formula, but it's thicker, so I didn't put it with my BB Creams. I put it with my foundations. My Wet n Wild. I have all my Maybelline Fit Me, my... Into Age Rewind, my Super Say, those are like five of my all-time favorite foundations. I've got the Revlon Age Defying, the Roma Lasting Finish Revlon Nearly Naked, L'Oreal True Match and Blur, NYX Invincible and HD, L'Oreal Lumi, CoverGirl, all that good stuff. Then below it, I have all my high-end foundations. So again, I like to make it so that I can see everything in here. That way it makes it easy for me to grab. So I have my new Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable, I think it's the Remarkable Gel Foundation, or Genius Gel Foundation. My Chanel Pro Lumiere, my Nars Sheer Glow, my Makeup Forever HD and Ultra HD. Then the um, Cover Stick, Dior Air Flash, Dior Skin Nude, Double Wear Light. This is like one of my new favorite foundations. My Guerlain um, Meteorites Baby Glow, which actually matches me. I showed this in a haul. I thought it was going to match me, but it does. My Givenchy Eclat Matisme, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, Kat Von D, some Becca. I've got some Laura Mercier in here, some Hourglass. More Clinique, Smashbox Studio Skin is like one of my holy grail foundations. I love that stuff so much. Berlain Lingerie de Po is great. Urban Decay Naked Skin and All Nighter. Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear is my Ride or Die Foundation. This is the one I would go to Desert Island with. And that's that drawer. Then we have all my face powders and some blushes. So I've got my it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, my NYX Banana Powder, I've got my NYX No Filter, my MAC um, Studio Fix, my MAC Prep and Prime, my Cover FX, my Makeup Forever, my Derma Blend, my MAC Skin Finish here, another NYX Stay Matte but not flat, the um, Maybelline Better Skin, and my Dior Skin Nude Powder, and then this one is new to my collection, the Naked Cosmetics. I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's the Banana Powder. Love this stuff. Really loving it. RCMA No Color, Chanel Powder Universal. I've got all my Benefit blushes back here. Um, I probably need to move that powder so that this is a little bit closer. I might move this down into um, my everyday makeup collection because I've been using that a lot. Then I have all my Benefit powders, blushes. I've got a couple Milani, a couple NARS, Balm. These Too Faced Heart Blushes are like my favorite heart blushes ever. They're so, so, so beautiful and I love them so much. Um, and then the blushes I have over here. I've got some MAC, I've got some NYX, I've got some Tarte, some Makeup Geek, some 
uh, Marc Jacobs that doesn't close, you guys. This does not close and it drives me nuts. I hate that. I don't know why. Laura Mercier, some Milani, this Givenchy. I'm sorry about that noise. That's my computer. I'm going to go turn that off. And that is the store. Then we have all of my bronzers and my highlighters and blushes in here. I have my Benefit Hula. I've got my Chanel Soleil Tande Chanel bronzer. I love that. I've got a couple MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. And this is the Ombre blush that I literally love so much. I cannot get rid of that. NARS blush. This Illamasqua blush is beautiful. I love that color. Um, the Boho Chic NYX Cream Blush is one of the only cream blushes that I really like. It's such a pretty color. I'll swatch it for you guys. Can you guys see that? It's just like really light. It's like a nice sheen. It's just so pretty. I've got my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, my Dior Bronzers, Jane, NYC Sunny, NARS Laguna, Dream Sun, The Balm. I have my Topshop highlighter that I've shown you guys in a couple of videos. I love this highlighter. It is like blinding and amazing. Oh, it's so good. Um, the Smashbox one highlighter is also really, really pretty. I just recently kind of rediscovered this one. It's a great like natural glow highlighter. Really like that. My MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. My Sleek Palette Cotton Candy Cream by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm a kid. I've got a Tarte um, contour and highlight palette back there. I've got my IBY Beauty, my Estee Edit one. Um, all my Visible Lift blushes from L'Oreal, which I love, are all in there. And this is my favorite cream blush of all time. This was Estee Lauder, and it's limited edition, but it is, like, the most beautiful color. Let's see where I can swatch this right there. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. So I have to keep that guy. So here we have... Um, Highlighter palettes and other highlighters, blush palettes. These are my La Femme Cosmetics blush palettes, which I absolutely love. These things are so good. They're really pigmented, so you kind of have to be careful when you're working with them, but they're absolutely stunning. I have my Morphe Desi Danger highlighter palette. I've got my MAC blushes back there. I have my Stila um, highlighting palette here. These are my favorite, the Starlight Star Bright highlighting palette. They're like... Um, it's like a putty kind of. I have this in the full size in Kitten. Yeah, this has Transcendence, Kitten, and Bronze. And this is like, these are honestly like my favorite highlighters of all time. I'm gonna be doing a video more on those. They just make your skin look so wet and beautiful. Urban Decay highlighter, my um, NARS and my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay blush palette. I've got my ColourPop little contour highlight palette here. Um, my Hourglass, more Kylie Cosmetics blushes and highlights. My ColourPop highlight, this is in Lunch Money. It is so pretty. I love like the texture of ColourPop things. They're just like so creamy and pretty. I love it, love it, love it. And I've got my Cover Effects highlighting drops in Sunlight. My Milk Makeup, um, what is this called? Highlighter in Lit. It's really, oh, as I drop it, it's fine, it's fine. It's really pretty. It's great for like the body too. Can you see that? Oh, so shimmery and pretty. Then I have this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter that I really, really, really like from the drugstore. I just love Essence Beauty. They need like more hype because they are bomb. I love Essence. Got my Laura Mercier um, highlighter palette here too. Got some of these colors. They're really cool and different. Let's see if I can find a place to swatch them for you guys. Really pretty. Look at that highlighty hand. I love it. I've got my Marc Jacobs Spotlight here. Other blushes over there. Then over here we have single eyeshadows. I have all my Rockin' Republic, my L'Oreal Infallible, my Makeup Forever. These are like all my cream shadows right here that aren't eyeshadow bases really. Um, all my Milani here, MAC, ColourPop. That is what this drawer is. Then we have eyeshadow palettes. These are all small eyeshadow palettes. My Inglot palettes, which you guys saw my declutter. I have like my Urban Decay Electric palette, my Coastal Scents Revealed palette, which is really pretty and super affordable. I also have like two of my favorite um, like unique palettes. These are Lime Crime palettes, you guys. Check out these colors. Look at that. Can we even right now? Look at how pretty these are. Look at those colors. And then this one is pastels. I mean, Lime Crime does products like this right. And I love these old palettes, which is why I kept them. These are, these are older. These aren't available right now. 
but they're literally so freaking stunning. I mean, look at this orange. Have you ever seen like a pastel orange like that before? And they're not patchy. They blend so well. They're absolutely stunning. If you can ever get your hands on those, I highly recommend them. I have my Estee Edit palette, my G-Way Spring collection, Modern Renaissance, my Kylie palette, my Marc Jacobs palette. What else is back here? My Urban Decay Naked Basics. And then down here are all the big eyeshadow palettes. So this has like all my Urban Decay Naked palettes, all my MAC palettes with all my shadows in it. If you want to see the eyeshadow palette declutter video, I will have all the declutter videos linked below for you guys if you want to see like more specifics on these products. Um, but like my, I showed you guys my MAC palettes and um, I've got my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, my Tarkis Pro, my Violet Boss Ride or Die, my Nubian palettes, things like that back there. And that is the first set of IKEA drawers. Okay, so in this next set of nine drawers, my top drawer is my skincare that I'm using right now. So I have got my Captain Blanket Chip Aloe and Rose Toner. You guys, I have a full nighttime routine coming for you that's gonna show you a lot of these products. Um, so stay tuned for that. I've got my Pestle and Mortar Erase Makeup Removing Balm, a toner that I made with my facial steam. This is from Palermo. It's the Botanical Facial Steam. I have all my Charlotte LaCroix skin here, you guys obsessed with this stuff, my renewal cream, my firming serum, my spot treatment, my night cream, my day cream. I have my um, Tarte water cream sample back here and also my Embryo Lease. I've got cotton pads for my toner and hair clips for when I'm taking my makeup off and all that stuff. Now these are all high-end lipsticks, probably my most expensive lipsticks, and then I have brow products. Underneath this, I have eyeshadow bases and like tweezers and things like that. And then I have lip balms and things like that here. And then these are all brow products. And then shadow sticks under here. I did kind of a double layer storage to make it a little bit easier and fit a little better. So in here, sorry, I should show you. I've got my N lipsticks, all my YSL lipsticks, all my Christian Dior lipsticks. Um, I've got my Tarte, some Estee Lauder, some Givenchy, some Urban Decay, some Lancome, some Laura Mercier, some NARS. This Hourglass like red liquid lipstick thing is the most beautiful red of all time. It's stunning. I love it so much. I rediscovered that when I was decluttering, so now I can use it more, which is very exciting for me. So that is what's in this store. My eyeshadow bases, you guys, I use the NYX. I have the white and the tan. I've got my shadow insurance. I have my Wonder Brow, which is like one of my favorite brow products. I have Wonder Brow in black, brown, and brunette. I tend to like black, black, brown more now. I originally ordered brunette, but black, brown is a much better match for me. If you have similar hair color to me, I've got my Anastasia Dip Brow. I have my Pat McGrath lip vinyl, um, my YSL, my Shiseido, my By Beauty lip primers, my um, Givenchy lip balm, things like that. And I did order clear cases for all my MAC lipsticks because they don't have any indication of a color and I don't remember like every single color name. So you can buy these on Amazon. I will have it linked below along with these organizers if I can find them. I bought these organizers so long ago, you guys. It's just like a pull out um, lipstick or holder. I know that like by allegory has a huge, um, store on amazon.com where you can see all of their, um, products and they make some really awesome ones. So I will have that link below for you guys. I have Dior lipsticks, some other lipsticks that don't stand up in here cause they're too tall, but these are all my Mac lipsticks. Below that we have all my drugstore lipsticks. This has all my Jordana. all my Milani, my CoverGirl Katy Perry, my, I think these are, are these Maybelline? Yeah, these are the Maybelline like bright ones. This is Fuchsia Flash. Like how pretty is that color? Are you kidding me? Um, Dolce Carmelo by Milani is amazing as well as, these are probably my two favorite nude drugstore lipsticks. Um, nude Cream by Milani. Nude Cream is probably like my favorite of all time drugstore lipstick. This one. And they smell so good, like like fruity watermelon, but with a little bit of floral, it's not too much. These are all my NYX macaroons. I put them in there where I can't see all of them, only because they're such crazy colors. I use them for like very specific things, specific types of tutorials. So I, I can just pull this whole thing out when I need to use one. I don't need to be able to see every single one that I have. The Giordana Modern Matte is one of my favorite lipstick formulas at the drugstore. It's really, really good, and it's creamy and really pigmented, even for a matte lipstick. Also, the Essence Matte Matte Matte, this, this is their new formula, is a really, really, really good. So pigmented, you would think this would be so expensive. And also, the Essence um, Original Formula, this is barely there. This is like one of my favorite nude lipsticks from the drugstore also. 
that formula is amazing too. I love, I really love almost everything that Essence makes. I think they can honestly almost do no wrong in my book. They just do a really good job with everything. So I would highly recommend checking them out if you haven't done so before. Then our next drawer is nude lip glosses. Now, instead of organizing by brand, like my old makeup collection was, I decided to organize by color. I'm really proud of this. These are all my nude lip glosses. This is my um, uh, lip topper in rose gold from Ji Wei. It's literally like insanely stunning. Can you guys see how beautiful that is? Um, some of my favorites, I have my new MAC lip gloss. This is in the color Lust. Oh my gosh, the Ji Wei lip topper smells so good, you guys. But look how pigmented that MAC lip gloss is. So pigmented and nude and I love it. And I just love opening these and seeing like all my new lip glosses, like my NARS Super Orgasm, my Benefit Dandelion, my Givenchy. This one is so beautiful. It's called the Pop Gloss Crystal Gloss in Sun, I think, 472. It's so glittery and shimmery and wonderful. Makes your lips look just like wet and voluptuous and pretty. Um, I have my peach gloss, which I love. I love these forever, are they called forever nudes? Yeah, aqua glosses from BH Cosmetics. These are so good and they're super affordable. Look how pigmented that is. Oh, these are so good. So good. I have this Jouer lip gloss. Oh, that just, that just came out of the packaging. Okay then, this is in ginger. <laughs> I've never actually, do you guys see that right now? I have never had that happen before. That's so weird. Well, you saw it here. These apparently pop out of their packaging sometimes. Okay, well, we'll just leave it out of its packaging. It's fine. I don't need that. These Lorac Alter Ego lip glosses are so stinking pigmented. This should actually be in a different category. We'll take that guy out of there. Then I have all my MAC lip glosses over here. Um, cream sheen glasses. I love this one. This is in the color Fashion Scoop. It's a really light baby pink. I kept it because I don't really have anything like it. So I have that. That is the nude lip gloss drawer. So these are all the brightly colored, um, I'll put that in the bottom one, brightly colored lip glosses. I've got all my NYX butter glosses and intense butter glosses over here. I have these Rockin' Our Public ones are so freaking pigmented, you guys. This is like a bright, fiery orange. Look at this. Really awesome. And then you have to check out this other one. Where is it? Oh, it might be in the bottom drawer. I have my Givenchy in, that's the Gloss Interdite in 07. It's really pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I just forgot I had that, you guys. It's amazing. Like, declutter your makeup collection. It will free you. You'll feel so good doing it. And then you'll have a collection of things that you love. This is like a pretty like fuchsia light gloss. This Japanese gloss, you guys, is so pigmented and pretty. It is the lip lacquer, um, but I don't see the shade. I don't know, it's got a cute little top though. But it is, you guys, this is basically like a liquid lipstick. Look at that, that's insane. That's so opaque and pigmented, I love it. I've got my coral matte cream sheen glasses down here. This one is in richer lusher. And it just has that kind of like coral undertone I really like. My Dior Red lip gloss. This is the Real Her lip gloss. A couple of Pat McGrath lipsticks. Oh, this is the Rock and Public I wanted to swatch. Check out the pigment in this one. That orange one wasn't as pigmented, but look at that one. Wow, that's amazing. I love this lip gloss so much. And then this Illamasco one. I've had this for a long time, but it's still good. It still smells good, and like the consistency is still good. And it's like a gloss lipstick in one. I mean, it is... Stunning, I literally can't bring myself to get rid of it. All right, then we have nude liquid lipsticks. I used a powder divider to stand them up so that I could see the colors and the brands a little bit easier. Um, this one is from Trust Fund Beauty. I think I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's really, really, really gorgeous. Um, I've got, like seriously, you guys, this is my favorite drawer. I have this, I have this Makeup Forever Aqua, La, Aqua Rouge. Like, look at that. These are like nude and light pink liquid lipsticks. I have my Too Faced Melted Matte. I have some lip glazes, or um, the glazed lip paints from LA Girls in here. I've got Huda Beauty. I've got all my Kylie ones, my Rimmel Show Offs. Um, this one is in the shade, what is this one called? Celestial, so pretty, so, 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 so pretty. My L'Oreal Alter Ego, you guys, this is, so this is more of a lip gloss, but I put it down here because it's seriously so pigmented. I almost think of it as like a glossy liquid lipstick. 
Um, I love this L'Oreal Infallible, or not Infallible, what's it called? It's in Permanent Blush, but I forget what these are called. They're so good though, they're like the liquid lipsticks. And they're a little bit more sheer, but they're so beautiful. And then I've got Ochre by um, the Matte Liquid Lipstick by Coco, Coco Collection for Kylie. And I love this color, super unique. I put all my Kylie in here, even though this is a, not a nude. I wanted to keep all my Kylie ones together. And my Rimmel Provocalypse. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love these so much. I have not used these in so long. That's a really cool toned brown, but really awesome. I love it. So that is this is my nude and like light pink liquid lipsticks. And I do have my Kylie lip liners in here too, because I just don't want to lose those. So I want to put them all in here. All right, then we have bright liquid lipsticks. So these Wet n Wild metallic liquid lipsticks are so cool. This is like a metallic version of like NARS Orgasm or Super Orgasm, which I love. Um, I also have another Provocalypse by Rimmel. This is kind of more of a, a hot pink. This formula is so good. I love it so much. I have my lip glazes, lip paints from LA Girls. I've got some uh, Makeup Geek Plush mattes. These are so good. The formula is like so whipped and creamy and they stay on your lips for so long and they don't dry out or look cracked or cakey or anything weird like that. Um, I've got some Kat Von D Everlasting in here. This is a really pretty red. So this is like bright pinks, purples, corals, reds, just like bright, more neon colors. I've got my Melted Matte, or Melted Too Faced uh, Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. This is the color Melted Candy. So this is the Melted Matte in Melted Candy. So this is all like my bright lipstick. This is my YSL. It's so pretty, guys. This is in a red color. It's like a bright, kind of like orangey red. And it's not super opaque, it's just really, really nice. So that is that drawer. Okay, and then the last drawer is where this guy's gonna go. These are deeper, darker um, liquid lipsticks. This also has all my metallics in it, like my Smashbox. This is their, it's Mob Squad. It's their Be Legendary Liquid Metal. It is so amazing. I love it so much, so pretty. It's got like my NYX Cosmic Metals. This one is amazing too. They're actually ridiculously similar colors. You don't need both, guys. Um, this is in, it's a lip cream in crystallized metal. It's got my Who Is She Cosmetics. These are um, like lip composites. Infallibles, enough more plush mattes. Um, Giordana lip creams. They're, these are from Makeup Geek. They're so pretty. I, I love the plush matte formula. It's so good. I have the um, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits, more Provocalypse, um, more Makeup Forever, more Rimmel Show Locks, um, more Plush Mats, Jordana Sweet Cream Mats. This is so pretty. This color is called Molten Chocolate Cake. Oh my gosh, I love that color so much. The name of that color, how pretty is that color? More of a fall drawer, but I really love it. So that is the second set of Ikea drawers. And then here are all of my brushes. Guys, I have so many brushes. I have eye brushes, face, br face brushes. I just got these from Amazon. I will link them below. The only bad thing is this big long one has this dip, so sometimes the brushes fall out. But I have them organized by eye and face. This is for like other things that I get that I want to review. Um, the top is just my storybook um, Harry Potter wand brushes. I don't know why I just call them Harry Potter. They're not actually Harry Potter brushes. I'm going to hold the camera for this because I think it's going to be easier for you guys to see. In this first drawer, I have things. This is all just stuff I use regularly. My RCMA powder. I told you guys I moved there. Makeup that I want to test out. Kylie blushes. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. My Temp 2 highlighter for my BoxyCharm. Um, my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is just kind of like my everyday makeup drawer. Kitten by Stila. If you guys want to see like a full rundown of my everyday makeup drawer each month, let me know in the comments below. Mascaras, palettes that I want to try, eye products, and then lip products and other like skincare, things like that that I want to try as well. So then if we go down here, we have all my lip liners, my mascaras and all of my eyeliners all standing up so that I can see the colors. Then we have pigments and glitters on the side, eyelashes in the back. These are all my MAC Duraline um, liners and my eyeshadow eyelash curler. So I have all my Coastal Sense liners, all my MAC liners. I have like Laura Mercier, um, some Mally, some NYX, um, that's Laura Mercier. I've got some um, Urban Decay, some MAC. Um, NYX. These are liquid liners in this one and then pencil liners in that guy. So so with my pigments, I only have my MAC pigments and my OCC pigments. I got rid of all the rest of my declutter. 
Then here is all my setting sprays, extra cotton balls, and brush cleaners. Brush shampoos, brush cleaners, and paper towels. Really easy, my Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. I love this stuff so much. I have my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my tea tree water. Um, my NYX setting spray, my Cover FX, my Derma Blend, and my L'Oreal back there. Love all of those. And then in the bottom are all my face masks that I'm not using like on a regular basis. When I want to use a sheet mask or two or like a pot, I'll put it in my um, everyday skincare drawer. But for anything that I'm not using like right away, I put in here and I just come in here when I want a new skin mask. I used this one last night. It's the Detoxifying Purifying Mask from Beauty360. I think I got this from CVS. It's really good. I also love this. It's the um, Facial Anti-Stress mask and it's from feeling beautiful or Freeman I don't know it's really good though this is the fountain of youth the Mario Badescu cucumber tonic mask my whole family and I love and use this we swear by it I have my skin food rice mask um, that's from the body shops really good mask of magnanimity from lush some sheet masks here I love these I got these um, Karuna masks in um, my fab fit fun box and I'm obsessed with them so that's what's in that store guys and that is an overview of my entire makeup collection. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see like my everyday makeup drawer in um, monthly videos, like if you want me to do a monthly tour of it, leave it in the comments below. I love you guys and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.